Adobe Acrobat and Adobe Reader have always had a rich history of complex word and phrase searching. Acrobat 10 takes searching just one step further by allowing you to save your search results. In this tutorial, we'll explain how to save your search results to another PDF or CSV file. The ability to save your search results is part of Acrobat Standard and Pro, but is not available when using the free Adobe Reader. I'll begin by opening the search window under the Edit menu and selecting Advanced Search. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts Shift Control F on Windows or Shift Command F on the Macintosh. This will bring up an independent dialog box that can be moved anywhere in your screen for ease of use. The search dialog menu allows you to search within the currently open document or within all documents within a given folder or a network drive. You can run a simple search looking for a word within a single file, or you can run a more complex search looking for various kinds of data in one or more PDFs. Acrobat will search not only the PDF text, but the layers, form fields, and digital signatures. You can also include bookmarks and comments in the search. For searches that are run across multiple PDFs, Acrobat also looks at the document properties and XMP data which can be found underneath the File, Properties menu. The Show More options at the bottom of the search dialog allows you to perform case-sensitive, proximity, and stemming searches, such as all instances of the word run, runs, or running. It also allows you to perform word searches within any PDF attachments that may be included within your file. For this particular example, I'm putting together some conference information and the registration dates have changed. So I need to know every instance of where the word registration has been used on my folder of conference documents. I'll begin by selecting my folder of conference documents from the look in pull down menu. And then I'll go ahead and type the word registration. and select search. The search results will appear in the search dialog with a link to each word or file if you have searched across multiple PDFs. Each item listed includes a few words of the context and an icon that indicates what type of file the occurrence appeared in. Notice that search results also include word or HTML files if those files were part of a PDF portfolio. To enable these Microsoft and AutoCAD file searches, the appropriate eye filters must be installed in your system. Now at this point, I can refine my search further or I can save the search results to another PDF or CSV, which is a comma separated value file, which can be open in Microsoft Excel. To do this, simply click on the Save icon next to the New Search button. I'm going to save these search results in another PDF so I can see exactly where the word registration is used throughout my entire folder of conference documents. Now the resulting PDF is a detailed summary of information. It contains bookmarks for navigation purposes to a summary of where the word registration has been used. It details the file name, which is actually a hyperlink to the actual file, and it contains metadata such as title, subject, author, and any relevant keywords. It also lists the exact page of where the word is used. And now this file can be used to track down every instance of where the word registration has been used so I can update all my conference documentation. There are also a few preferences related to searching that you can set in Acrobat and you can find these underneath the Edit, Preferences, Search Category. You can set preferences for such things as always turning on the Show More Options in the Advanced Search dialog and showing the document title in the search results. 
The ability to save search results in Acrobat 10 expands on the product's robust search capability. From the information within the resulting PDF or CSV file, you can now easily locate information in individual files or on multiple files across your computer system.